When you're using twisted or shaped strings, what's going to happen when you get down to the bottom is if you run the string in and pull a loop of string all the way through there, it's going to wind up the string on the outside of the frame. And you'll end up with a pretzel if you're using a, a shaped polyester string, or if you're using a gut string, you might unwind the string. So what I do is I'll go in through the grommet hole and pull that string all the way through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sort of like a needle and thread method. I'm going to push a loop of string under my cross, or excuse me, my main, and weave it all the way through. Now what I'm doing is I'm not going to be ended up winding the string going through the main strings. I'll go on and tension this cross now and when I tension that cross since it's already weaved through it's not going to twist up on me. I'm going to pull this loop of string all the way through and then I'll just push a loop of string under the mains and pull it through as I go. Some people now might want to take their thumb and just pull that string through. I usually find myself pulling it more with the bottom hand than not. Now when I tension this cross, it's going to be the same thing. I'm not winding up the string. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you got any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll answer them just as soon as I can. Have a nice day.